Hi everyone, in this video we will be covering SonarCube, how to install SonarCube, how to run SonarCube. So first let us see what is SonarCube. So SonarCube is a tool which shows us the code quality and also security. It performs various analysis, detects bugs and vulnerabilities and based on that it also gives us external level insights to improve our code. We will need either Windows, Linux or Mac OS, Java, at least 2 GB of RAM and 2 GB of disk space and Docker if we are installing with the help of Docker. We will be using Docker in this tutorial. So now let's install Docker in our server. Okay. So first let me open the server. Let's first check if Docker is installed. Yeah, so I have Docker installed. Then let's pull the latest image of Docker Sonar Cube. So Docker. So now we have our sonar cube image installed. Okay. Now let's try to run the sonar cube image. Let me put name as sonar cube. Then a port. I'll be using port nine thousand and also forwarding it to the same the name of the image that is sonar cube so yeah now the sonar cube is running we uh, let's go to our ip and go for the port 9000 okay so i think it's still in the initializing stage let's wait for it to initialize as you can see sonar cube is starting right now so we have successfully installed the sonar cube in our server By default, the username and password would be admin admin. Let's check if it is still. Okay. Yeah, it's still in the initializing phase. Okay, so Sonar Cube has initialized. Now let's do admin admin. So when you install a fresh version, you have to compulsory change your password. Yeah. So uh, that's how we install Sonar Cube in the server. So we have installed SonarCube server. Now let's install the client side to run the analysis from our machine. Okay. So in order to do that, we'll do npm install SonarCube globally. Okay. I uh, I have already done that. So, but I'll still repeat the step. Now uh, we need to create a sonar project dot properties file in case we want to run the sonar cube locally. All right. So I already have created the file. Okay. Let's first go through the project structure. I have my API code in the functions folder. All right. Inside that there is a simple uh, express server. Okay. And I have also written a test case for the same. All right. I also have one uh, variable which is not used anywhere. Uh, so this will be caught by sonar cube and sonar cube will shows the warning that this variable is not used. Okay. So now let's try to run the sonar cube 
but first let have a look at the sonar project properties file. So, in the project key, uh, we need to add the key as a project, then project name, the host will be the URL. So, that will be uh, this in our case. Okay. This sonar token, uh, the token will be for individual project. So, let us keep the name of sam uh, project is sample. So, the project key display name both will be sample. Uh, my main brush would be master. I okay. will be using global settings. You might not see this uh, screen because uh, this seems to be in the latest version only. Now, let us create a token. I will go the no expiration token. So, this is the token which I will be using in sonar dot token. Right. In the new version, you have to use sonar dot login instead of token. Then, I will be mentioning the sources that is the fun uh, the folder which I want to include in, uh, for the analysis. So, in this case, I will be mentioning functions, okay, functions here. And then the encoding will be UTF-8. Uh, exclusions are those uh, which I want to exclude from the analysis, okay. Then uh, this is test inclusion, all right. Uh, this is a coverage inclusion and this is the report file of the coverage, okay. We are not uh, covering coverage in this part, okay. Now, let us try to run this. Uh, Let us just confirm the details, sample, sample, uh, then this is the URL, URL, token, this is the token, okay. Now, let us try to analyze. So, in the main root folder, uh, we will run sonar scanner. So, uh, as you can see, a new analysis is in progress. So, yeah, uh, the analysis has been completed. Okay. Let us go to our oral code. Uh, now, if we check, we have one security hotspot and one code smell. Let us take a look at this code smell. So, the variable will be defined, right? So, remove the unassigned variable. So, we had a bug in place that is remove the unassigned variable. So, let us just remove this one and rerun our analysis. Let me refresh overall code. So, now there are no code smells. Okay. So, this is how the analysis work. There are a lot of things over here, for example, complexity. Right. So, how much complexity is there in your code base? All right. Readability, security, and a lot of things. Okay. So, we have covered installation of SonarQ1 server, then running SonarQ from local, okay. but in most of the cases, you will be running SonarQ from the CI CD pipeline. So, let us try to include SonarQ in the pipeline process. Okay. So, I have a Bitbucket pipeline with one step in it, which is for Lighthouse. So, I will just remove this step okay. and let us put it SonarQ. Now, if you are using Bitbucket, uh, Bitbucket has already uh, implemented a pipe for sonar analysis. So, what we will be doing is, we will be using that, all right. So, we will be using pipe instead of image, okay. So, 
so we'll just remove the script okay we'll be using pipe and this pipe is from bitbucket itself then for the pipes we'll be uh, mentioning the variables all right so sonar host url which will be in our case then sonar token uh, remember this token uh, should be kept in a bit bucket environment variable but for this purpose this tutorial purpose i'm just keeping keeping it as a plain uh, string okay then we need to put the extra arguments which we have in this all right so either we can have it in the pipeline or we can have it in this file itself so let's just try to keep it in this file file itself and not include those in the extra argument okay now let me push this code So we have the new branch that is Sonar Cube pipeline. Let's see if the pipeline is running or not. So the Sonar pipe has started to run. All right, we should see the new analysis over here once uh, this pipeline has been completed. We'll also push the code again to. See, uh, see the latest changes because this might not change anything over here. Yeah, so the analysis was completed. Okay. This is failing because of the code coverage, which is which we are not covering in this tutorial, all right? Because I don't have any code coverage present over here. Now uh, let's add the uh, old bug that we had, all right, and push it to run the pipeline.
the pipeline is completed now let's just refresh our code so uh, our code smell is back again the same one so we can confirm that the code was pushed from the pipeline properly